Hi, my name is JJ, and I'm a sophomore on the SPU rowing team. JJ, your rowing team has been working hard for several months. Uh, finally, you get to put some of that to use here this weekend. The PLU Invitational. Are your thoughts on that regatta on Saturday? It's exciting. Um, last year when we competed in this race, we didn't compete directly side by side with Western. Um, but this year, it's our first race, and we're going up against our uh, rivals. So it's pretty exciting, and there's a lot riding on it. You uh, have had some competitions more scrimmage-like, including a few weeks ago against Gonzaga out in Lake Union. Boy, that was a lot of racing, shorter than the 2,000 meters, some different lengths and all, but a really hectic schedule. How did you uh, survive that? <laughs> yeah, it was hard. Uh, definitely a lot of hours spent in the training room, um, taking care of our backs. and It was a really good experience, though, because we got to do um, pieces that felt like a 2,000 meters, but many of them, and also shorter distances, and practice really the higher rates and getting that speed that we hadn't really tapped into yet. And what will be the difference, say, uh, when you have, say, a thousand yard uh, piece, or a thousand meter piece, that's half of the 2,000 lengthy row, uh, how, how does that differ in your rowing versus going the full 2,000? Uh, kind of depends. You know, it, you, we can pretend to race it like the beginning thousand of a 2,000, so we do a start and then settle and um, we don't really sprint at the end of it. Or if we're doing it just a thousand meters all out, you do a start, you, um, you sprint the end and you just go all out for the whole thing. Okay. Uh, this will be a, a hectic Saturday because uh, the varsity day that you row on will row twice. I think two hours uh, separating the start times. How do you approach that when you know you have to go to the start line twice? It's all about compartmentalization in your head. Like the first race is the only one that matters, especially since that's the one that we're going up against Western in. Um, so I'm not even thinking about the second race yet. Like this, this first race is everything. And then uh, after that, we'll kind of regroup and make a plan about what we want to do for the second race and go from there. SPU is coming off an outstanding season. Finished fourth at Nationals last year at the NCAA Regatta. Um, what uh, kind of goals or what is your approach to this season? Uh, our big goal this year is hashtag podium 2020. Um, so by that we mean that we want to be in the top two in the nation and we want to get ourselves up on the podium, whether that's the eight or the four or both, even better. Um, but that's our goal this year. Last year at Nationals you rode as a two seat in the four. Uh, you're scheduled to go in the bow of the eight. First off, how is rowing different in a four uh, versus an eight? Uh, four is generally feels heavier. Um, you have less people, less oars moving through the water. Um, and so in a four, you really, it's all about strength and grit. Um, and in an eight, there's is a lot more focus on technique, um, especially in bow seat, because, you know, I have to have the best catches because I'm the beginning oar. Uh, if I miss any water or um, if I'm late at all, it kind of throws off the timing. Um, yeah. Do you like being in that position? Uh, you, in the two, you're not in the center of the boat, but you're, you have people surrounding you, rowers surrounding you. Do you enjoy that uh, bow responsibility? <laughs> I love it up there, actually. You can see everything. Um, and like I, I love being able to make changes, and so being able to see everyone, everyone's oar, um, I'm able to communicate with my boat and say, like, hey, we're skying a little bit, like, we need to change this. and. And also up in Val, we're, we're in charge of like building the rate, the stroke rate. And so that's pretty exciting when we build and uh, like I'm supposed to get my blade in and Val Pair actually is supposed to get their blade in just a little bit quicker than the rest of the boat. And that picks up the speed from the front of the boat. So that's, that's an exciting part of being up there. Was there any adjustment process for you uh, your first time you sat in the bow and rode from that position? Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> at, at first it feels a lot lighter when you're rowing, and um, so it, it can be easier, quote unquote easier, but um, the hard part about being up there is that you have to find the work. Um, you're up there to pull just as hard as everyone else, and although it may be lighter, you can pull just as hard and just as fast. Okay. This is your second year in the program. Last year you were a true novice. Uh, did you have any rowing experience prior to coming to SPU? I did not. And what was that process like, learning how to row from scratch? <laughs> Coach described it as drinking from a fire hose, and I think that's pretty accurate. You know, you like have zero idea what it is, but 
the, the passion for the sport is what got me motivated and I was doing research and coming in here practicing all the time and just learning the stroke and I, I wanted to get better, I wanted to push myself up to the varsity level and um, so that, that's what kept me going. Well, you've done well at that point. How is it different now that you have a year under your belt, experienced rower coming back this year? How is this year different for you? This year, honestly, has been kind of a surprise for me. Um, last year, for as far as like 2K goals, I had set myself a goal of where I wanted to be and I didn't quite reach it by the end of the year. So coming into this year, um, I trained a lot over the summer and I came back and I blew that goal out of the water and now wow. I'm five splits faster from where I ever thought I could be. And so that's exciting for me because, you know, last year I was still learning how to row and get faster and everything all at once. And now I'm just kind of focusing on getting faster and stronger. That's tremendous. A lot of returning rowers, a real veteran group, especially in that top boat. You've also added some real quality newcomers. Uh, just what are your general thoughts about this new group of Falcon rowers? Oh yeah, they're awesome. I mean, it's fun to have novice energy, you know, because I, I remember being in their shoes not too long ago, um, and it's fun to like help them along the way and tell them tips that I learned that I wish I had known earlier, and um, yeah, they're, they're pushing themselves farther than I did last year, so that's really exciting, you know, the whole program is taking steps up, and that's really exciting. Great, and real quickly to wrap up, let's just talk a little about yourself. First, tell us where you're from. Uh, I grew up in Burien, Washington, so close to here. For those not familiar with the Northwest, if you were to uh, hop in a car at your home in Burien area, how long would it take you to drive to the SVU campus? Probably about 30 minutes, Perfect. yeah. And why did you choose to come to Seattle Pacific? Um, I, I love the Seattle area. I was kind of in between UW and SPU, and uh, growing up in a small school, I really wanted like the more intimate atmosphere, and it's a very relational college. Um, I didn't specifically come here for rowing, but the idea that I could be on a varsity team like this was really exciting to me, so it definitely helped me make that decision. And academically, what are you majoring in? Uh, majoring in nursing. Um, yeah, so that was obviously a big part of my decision, too. Um, and I actually have my interview for the nursing program this Monday. Tremendous. A very impressive and good nursing school here at SPU. Also uh, keeps you very busy uh, when you get in there. How do you uh, plan to juggle that uh, with the rowing and the academics and nursing? Um, our rowing team is really unique in that it allows you to participate in nursing and rowing. A lot of teams don't do that. Um, there's quite a few girls above me who are in the program right now, so you know, I, I get the benefit of following in their footsteps, and they've kind of paved the pathway for me. So um, they may miss a few workouts here or there, but for the most part, um, they're able to make up the workouts or um, still participate with the team for the majority of the time that we're on the water. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time, and good luck on Saturday at the regatta. Thank you.